one day you will find your soulmate. It will be a feeling beyond your imagination. You just can't help but to adore them. You will feel your whole heart melt for this person. This beautiful soul will bring you joy, laughter, calmness and so much inspiration that you will finally see hope in front of you. For once you can actually say, I'm in love. I can see a future with this person. I can share my life with this person. Maybe, just maybe, this one is not just a lesson. Maybe this one is what they actually call a soulmate. Maybe this one will be with me for the rest of my life. Coffee. Connie. Yes. It's seven AM. What makes you think you can win again? <laughs> Superior skills. Why did you always challenge me to these games? Why didn't you give up already? Because you know that Benny always wins. Yeah, we'll see. Your streak will end at some point. Yep. Mm. 
Funny aces. I'm not telling you. Go on, take a card. If I pull out a number five now, I'm going to be laughing. Close. Ah, so you've Good got a four or a three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You got any tens? Yep. Have you? Have you got? How many though? Have you got any thirteens? <laughs> <laughs> I can put some together. Hang on. Have you got any 23s? <laughs> We're probably not saying that they in the same gym like that. <laughs> and how many cards have you got, Cheetah? Six, okay. Six card book. Well, I'm taking the seven. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. It's the hand. It's the hand. The one. <laughs> Talk to the hand. <laughs> Go on then. Go on then. What you got? <laughs> well done. So yeah, I just I just can't go back to my house anymore. I I spent so long doing foley art for horror movies in there that whenever I move anything, I just I just see flashing images of people being strangled and stabbed and stuff. It's like, oh, I, I can't I can't even drop an orange, or or yeah, anything like that. Or um, you know, just every time I take a plate out of my cupboard it just sounds like someone's fingernails being scraped off on a chalkboard because I had to replace that once and now it's just it's just too much uh, and you know I, I used to do recording in the town around where I live as well so uh, when, whenever I walk past anywhere that has a familiar sound that I recognize from one of the horror movies that I did I've got to, I've got to leave straight away uh, and you know you can't just choose when to leave your house or move your house or it's always like this one date every year where your 12 month contracts keep running and I just yeah I just I just don't know what else to do like you know, even sleeping in the parks like everything just sounds like stuff that I've recorded already and I, th I think I guess it's PTSD but it's not really trauma that I've experienced it's trauma that other people have experienced that I've watched in the cinema which I used to be able to separate from reality but now it's all just kind of dwelling into one so I don't really know what to do anymore yeah it's it's difficult to disassociate yourself from a previous job that you've done for a long time. It is very normal that you will find a lot of that. I do, I do believe it is something that will decrease with time because right now those memories are so clear and you're, you, cause you're trying to unravel yourself from, from the job that you were with for so long. And it is a very difficult process. I think what, what will happen after a while is you will, little by little, you will stop associating those sounds with, with, the, with your previous work. You'll start to associate them with new things instead. I think you're going to have to take a break from all interaction with scary movies and things like that. I think that is, that's something that probably is for the best that you start doing right now, as 
it's good to, as sometimes you just need to make a clean break. Like going cold turkey. Benny Lynn? Yeah. I'm going to need you to put your cigarette out, please. You're not allowed to smoke here. Connie likes cigarettes. Well, we don't here, I'm afraid, so I'm going to need you to put it out, please. Thank you. Craig Henry. Come in, take a seat, and we'll get your session started. Now, I know this is your first session and there's probably a whole lot of thoughts seeping through your mind right now. But before we do anything else, I want to assure you that this is a totally safe place and what's said here stays here. So I hope that's reassuring to you. How are you feeling today? Distant. Distant. Are you feeling distant from anything in particular? The train. The train? Okay, so, so how long have you been feeling this kind of way? Probably s since I last saw Connie. And when was that? Only last night on the train. Mm. Because from what I gathered from your notes, it's been how long since you've been apart? I don't feel apart. Okay, that's interesting. I like pumpkins. Yes. Do you want to hold it? Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Connie likes pumpkins. I bet you both enjoy Halloween. So when, when you saw Connie last night, um, how were things between you? She was distraught. Mm. Concerned. She's gone through therapy. A lot of therapy. And I think she will be for a long time. Mm. Is it for um, incidents that have happened in her life? I think it's everything with her life for the rest of eternity. Mm. Uh, and I suppose there's issues there because you're thinking, because you know you're there thinking, what can you do? What can you do as someone who um, was maybe still is quite close to her? And you know, it's 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 normal for you to be wondering, what can you do to to help the situation? But sometimes, sometimes you can't do a lot. To Sometimes you, you just need to let someone go through these things. And that's, a, you know, and that's no bad mark against you. It's because simply because there are some things that are just out of your control. I want to be there with her mm. all the time. Have you told her that? I told her last night at Motherboard Station. And what was her response? She just wanted to get a cup of tea. And sometimes that's all you can do. Sometimes that's the most that you can do for someone. And did you did you go along and, and get your tea? I gave her sugar, plenty of sugar. And if that is all that you could do right there, then, then that's a good thing. It really is. And sometimes that is all you can do. You know, sometimes, you know, someone needs help. So, if, you know, if, if someone needs professional help, then there is only so much that you can do. So if you if you gave her that cup of tea, then you did something good for her. Does the tea make me professional? It doesn't necessarily make you professional in the same way a therapist would be, but it does mean that you did the right thing at the right time. She liked me doing the right thing. Good. I'm sure she does. 
and you did the right thing then. How long is it that you two have known each other? Forever. Totally forever. And did were you living together? In our hearts, we still live together. Okay. What are your What are your memories of What are your best memories of your relationship so far? Photos. Photos. Yes. They say that photos are the stories we can't tell with words. I like photos. Mm. I suppose you're thinking a lot now about the difficult times that you're ha that you're having, but it sounds like you had lots of good times as well. And I think at times like this, you need to remember not to let any bad memories, any arguments you had, cloud some of the better memories you had. You know, you kind of got to look at it as positivity attracts positivity in the same way magnets do. So what a good thing for you to do right now would be to think of positivity, of attracting positivity. So think of yourself as a bit like a magnet that attracts good, that attracts positivity. Yes, sometimes it can get so strong that something like that happens. Can I keep this? You can. I know what's seeping deep into your mind. Don't worry. You're safe here. What are you seeing? Our arguments. But surely you had some good times with your husband. Yeah, we did. A few. I think you need to find a way to focus the positive memories. Do you have anything that belongs to him? He gave me this. You need to hold on to that. Let it attract the good memories. Benny loves photos. I really like looking at the scenery photos he took. Photography is a way of telling a story that we couldn't tell with words. He'd really like that picture. May I have it? No, sorry. We had a fussy pet. We took him to the vets. He ran away and got hit by a car and we never saw him again. I feel guilty. What do you feel guilty about? My husband. You think you've done something wrong to your husband? I haven't. I'm a good wife. What makes you question whether you're a good wife? I'm a good daughter. Continue. I think Benny was not faithful to me. What makes you think that? I have a photo of him with another woman. What photograph? That one. This woman, she's an actress. She auditioned to be your husband's wife. I know. It's okay to be hurt. You experienced childhood traumas. It'll take a while for this all to sink in. I always find after a therapy session that I really relive the session for hours and hours on end. It's 
good to see that you're trying to find a way out of the cycle of lost hope. How are you dealing with that? Well, no. How are you feeling? I'm not. Have you learnt a new hobby like we discussed? I can read. I've learnt French. That's a whole new social circle. You've nearly completed your session. Well, the half of it. I think you lost hope for life. And now you're hoping to find things. Don't speak. Just try. Don't give up. And hold on to that. Let it attract the happy times. I'll see you next week. No doubt. having therapy for the rest of eternity. How's yours? Strange, dark. In every way. My therapy session was the other side of me. Connie, I'd like to tell you it gets better, but I really don't know. I really want to be able to tell you that, but... But... But what? I mean, what if it doesn't get better? Why have you gone, Benny? I can't keep on coming back to hold your hand through all these therapy sessions. You have to just do it alone. It's you, it's your demons. You have to get through it alone. I'm going through mine alone for the rest of eternity, Connie. The rest of eternity. I don't want to do it alone. I want to be there with you to walk along your side, but I can't anymore. Be strong, Connie. Be stronger. Sick of you. Ah, you must ah, be Edward. William, how you doing, man? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Mechanic. Uh, you got a problem with your motor, yeah? Yeah, so I've had this uh, knocking noise coming from the engine. Right. And the other day it was steaming up all along the motorway, so I, I don't know what's going on with it. I need it sorted. I'll have a look. Is it, was it around the back yeah, here, mate? Yeah, just, just around the garage. Let me just grab the keys. Yeah, no worries, fella. Bit of building work going on there, Yeah, they've been here for about four months now, okay. making all these noises. Yeah. So you've been uh, working on classic cars for long, then? Oof. 22 years, 
Yeah, yeah, 22 years now. Not bad. You're going to love that one when you see her. Uh, what's, the, what's the last kind of car you worked on? Here? I worked on a 1963 Ferrari Ooh. last week, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful my car. old man brought me up with cars, and I've just got a passion for cars, man. I Give me a car for 12 hours instead of sitting there with a you know, me missus for time. Oh, mate, I'm exactly the same as you. When I, see, when I sit in this car, I just drive it all day long. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, let's do it. What do you think of that? Wow. Stunning, absolutely stunning. When you said classic, you meant classic, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that is mint, mate, wow. Yeah, I've had a 34 years. Still looks like the day I got her. Hello, mate. You got the time? The time? Yes, please. Well, if you look at the current position of the sun and the way that the light is reaching us and just the shadows it's creating, I would say it is about midday. How can you tell? I can confirm it. I have a watch. Okay. Well, some might call it a clock. As you can see, it is midday. Oh, right, okay, no worries. Thank you, cheers. Very welcome. You should never take no for an answer. You should always question everything. The human spirit can heal anything. I learned that from a book I once read. For the first time I realised that we all suffer from a loss of hope. We can heal ourselves from the past. We can call each other back from the dead. We can call help from beyond. Is there a purpose for this reason? We all suffer from a loss of hope. It is a home that keeps us warm. It is a home that comforts us. It is a home that strengthens our spirit. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got the answer why I felt the loss of hope when I came home. I developed the spirit of home. I developed hope when I came home. This is home. You are my home. And home is you. Look. I've been in these situations before, darling. And I've learnt that, well, when I show any interest, they just, they just want to talk about my money. <laughs> my money. And they, they don't even try and hide it. They're just up front about it. If they don't say anything about the money, well, then it's all right. Because we can actually enjoy each other's company then without worrying about money. It doesn't really matter what the situation is. I mean, if she was looking for something else besides spending money, then I'm guessing, Connie, you'd have noticed and you'd have let me know. I'd like to think. Connie. Connie? Is that the truth then? I guess. I'm a rich man. But if you want something for my money, you'll have to come at the right time. There are some things in life more important than money. But, like I say, you'll have to come at the right time. I have come at the right time. We are always in danger of never finding our soulmate. You... You are my destiny. I like spending money. Treating yourself. Connie? Connie? You don't have to pay for the croissants. I'll pay for them. Time is up. Time is up. Our time is time, don't you think? Yeah. That's what they all say, darling. Is your car a classic? <laughs> yes, a classic, for sure. So, what do you do for fun? 
I rescue cats. <laughs> Not many people pet cats these days. Cats are happy. Cats make you happy. I guess they're fairly easy to look after though, right? I have cats at my place. So do you spend a lot of money looking after cats? Style, style, style. My favourite treasured possession. Is your, is your house a bit empty without a dog to pet? <laughs> you can come round and pet my cat. I'm not a dog fan. There is nothing more important than style. People get bullied without style. Were you made to be happy? I wasn't. Were you made to feel good? No. What if I were to tell you that it's good that you were made not to feel good? Style, style, style. Did you make someone unhappy? I was made to feel good. You might say that I was made to be happy. How was that made to happen? I became a cat rescuer. I was born to be a cat rescuer. A cat rescuer? Are you even listening to me, Connie? I listen to everything. I have been lying to myself. I've been lying to myself with a little help from my friends. I spent the time with a girl who is just an old school friend, kind of. That's how it was. I'm going to take you back. No. Thank you. I like peacefulness. Your croissants are stale, by the way. I have to go organise my photo, so I'm going to go now. <laughs> it's normally phone numbers that I get. Not some sort of code. <laughs> Oh wow, that's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, why are you here? why have you got out? I miss my grandma. You miss her? Yeah. Why? Where is she? She's no longer here with us. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's fine. Why don't you think you should put her away? That's why I've kept this. I don't think it's a good idea for you to have it out like this. You should keep it safe. Why should I not be walking around with it? It's beautiful and you want to keep it safe. Isn't that why you would keep it close to you? I'm homeless. So... The safest place I could keep it is with me. You're home now? Yeah. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to keep studying. Find my way. Well, yeah, if that's the only possessions you have left of your grandma, you need to make sure you keep that safe. I will. Well, I'm going to go now. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Honey? Remember me? No, sorry. <laughs> That's a surprise. You only used to talk to me when you wanted your homework done. Wait, Jennifer, is it you? Got any work done? It's been ages. How are you doing? I've been away and um, just moved back to the area. I wanted to see if everything was still the same. <laughs> Turns out nothing changes. I didn't mean to bully you in school. You didn't mean to? Like it was some sort of accident? But I'm genuinely sorry. OK. <laughs> still not acceptable. I went through so much at school. We all, we all took a lot at school. Yeah, I think I put them there. I'm not going to argue with that. Look, I've got oh. to go. I've got to go. You OK? <sighs> They've just upped my dosage. I really need to sit down. Listen, come to mine for a coffee. I only live around the corner. Yeah, okay. I still have quite a lot of questions. Well, I have a lot of answers. So this is my place. This one? Hmm. Yeah. Head off the mortgage. <laughs> Oh. Just wait till you see us. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's nice having a catch up over coffee. Yeah, I've got so many questions. Well, I've got so many answers. <laughs> Do you remember Benny? Yeah. <laughs> he was a diamond like at school. I married him. You married him? Yeah. Oh, he was too nice for you. What makes you say that? Benny never used to bully me. He was a nice person. I'm just going to cut to it. Why did you used to call me fat? And join in with all the others calling me fat all the time. I was a kid. And I know that's not an excuse. And I am really sorry, but... Everyone else was doing it, and... I just wanted to feel like I was part of something. And oh. I know that... I know that's, that's cruel. And kids are cruel. And life is cruel. No, you were cruel. I didn't mean to be. Right. I am you can't just get over that stuff, you know. It stays with you. It's really stayed with me all my life. All the horrible things that you and those lot used to say to me. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone along with everyone else. But you know what it's like? You just... You want to fit in and you don't really think about it. You just kind of <gasps> do what you can. I don't actually know what it's like because I never fitted in at school. I don't think anyone really does. I think it's one of those survival things. 
think it's like a bully or be bullied situation. Which probably doesn't, you know, make any difference to you. But you, you look like you've, you've done all right. Yeah, I've had to look, have a lot of therapy to get this far. Look, I know it's not all your fault. I am sorry though, I genuinely am. You know how it is with life, you can, you can let it make you, you can let it break you. Hmm. And you look like you let it make you. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Good, I'm glad. Obviously it's sad that you've had to, but at least you have. And if it makes you feel any better, you're doing a lot better than me. Thanks for coming round for the coffee. Thanks for the coffee. I can forgive you, you know. I can, I do, so thank you. Thank you. You don't need to, but I appreciate it. So you married Benny? Yeah. I really liked him. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Come round again if you want. I'm hoping to get the kitchen done, but that's going to be a while away. Be nice to see you. Where's your bathroom? It's just up the stairs.
you mind if I sit here? It's kind of my favorite spot. No, please do. Do you have time to talk for a while, Connie? I guess. All life is based on fate. I feel happy today. The stars I saw last night really helped. That's because of your astrological chart. I'm a powerful intuitive. I learn about the stars and planets. There's a bigger meaning to life. I think technology could be the bigger meaning to life. It's easier for a man to find a job than it is a woman. It makes a man have a network of connections just to find a single job. It's easier for a woman to find a job just because a man thinks she can't do it. It amazes me how a woman can be given the opportunity of a life. Yet a man is always judged by their sex of birth. You're a very interesting woman. Thank you. Should you. go for a walk. I think autumn's one of my favourite months. I like it too. I don't like when it's wet and windy. I don't mind if it's windy, and I don't mind if it's wet. But I don't want it. I don't want it to be time. wet and windy. Hey, yo, what up, Jimmy? You what? Hello. Hey. Yeah. So, what are you uh Sorry. Until tomorrow night, you coming? I'm not going to. I'm going to be busy. Hmm. Are you going? You go. I don't know what it is. It's but... like, oh, think of like the, um, the the Picasso of the stars. Like how everything just sort of like weaves its way into everything. We talk about that man there. Yeah? Okay. It, it sounds really good. Why aren't you going? I'm going to be with you. Okay. Catch you later, mate. Bye, Tim. That was Tim. Tim can be a bit intense. So what are we doing tomorrow night? I don't remember. Are we having coffee? I don't like coffee, but I'll be there whilst you have coffee, which is kind of the same thing. Okay. Hi, Connie. You're right. Yeah. It's chilly. Do you want to go and get a hot chocolate or something? Yeah. Hmm. Well, what have you been up to? I just met someone called Jaden. Is it a one off or are you going to see him again? I'm seeing him tomorrow night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You don't waste your time. <laughs> time is precious. Yeah. Do you want to go now for the hot chocolate? No. I think I'm just going to go home, take my pills and have an early night. Yeah. You're traveling tonight. Right? Be careful with that. Why? What's in here? Something very important to me. Like what? Everything that I own is in this bag. It is basically my home. 
What do you mean? I thought you was a student. I suppose I am both. Both? So, how does that work? So I study astronomy and the reason why I study it is so that I can understand that which constitutes to this universe and perhaps through that I can understand myself. Well, I guess you could say I'm both, but I have a choice, you see. I have a roof over my head, but I choose to be homeless, especially because of my past. You choose to be homeless? Well, yes. I don't feel comfortable being inside. I'm used to being on the streets. A choice. So you can choose whether to stay home or be homeless. Yes, I guess so. How could I make a choice like that? See, it's funny you say that because honestly, when I was in a position where I thought I had no choice, no opportunities, no options, I thought it was the end. And I generally gave up until one day someone stopped me and spoke to me. They said to me, you have a choice, you have options. You just have to pick up this pen and write your destiny with it. That pen there? This pen here. This pen here is what helped me. I was in a slump and now this pen helped me in my time of need. It can also help you. Here, take a look. You mean I can write my own destiny in this universe where we are governed by law? I truly believe that there are some things people wouldn't see if I didn't photograph them. I'll make it simple. To love me is new love. So stop loving me, new love. I'm nobody like you. I'm nobody like you. I don't know what to say. The moon makes the night. Star lights the night. To be in love is just being happy. Happiness isn't being happy. Let's just be friends. We can be friends for a while. I judge myself, I judge myself and I looked at myself and I looked for you and I felt like I couldn't go on. It's like I talked to you and you were there all the time and I told you things I never told anyone. I've never actually done it. What have you never done? What do you want to do now? I don't want to lose you over this. I still think you're beautiful, even now. I like photographs. I photograph everything. I photograph everything. 
I like photographs. I like photographs too. I like to photograph. I like to photograph. You know those photos that make you look like you're glowing? Photos keep memories alive. Photography is not taking a photo. It's not about the photo. It's not about documenting. I take photos because I want to. I want to. I've never gone out with anyone who isn't an addict. I've never gone out with anyone who can't cope. I think addiction is a very selfish choice. No one ever asked me if I wanted to be with them. You like books? I truly do. Books will make us never forget history and past mistakes. Books also make people's lives live on forever. Same as photos. You're perfect. You're perfect. I'm not the only one. Samuel, my cousin. He took a whole bottle of aspirin. I've never taken. I hate my glasses. Your glasses are what made me like you. I spend my life trying to figure out the world that I'm living in. I spend my time trying to figure out which of my friends are telling me the truth. I spend my time trying to figure out what it is that I can be. I can be. Life is not easy for me. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not coping. I'm not adapting. Life's like a photograph. It develops over time. I can see you don't like me very much. I like you. I have liked you. I've been in love with you. You've been in love with me. I truly like your company. And I find you very interesting. As a human. Do you believe in the afterlife, Jaden? Why do you think so? I don't know what you mean. I feel like I'm never ready to say goodbye. Goodbye? People say goodbye. And that's that. That's the end. I don't want to say goodbye. I do not have to say goodbye just yet. Jaden, do you believe in ghosts? Not yet. I can't say. I haven't I haven't spent much time thinking about the afterlife. I believe in many forms of life out there. Do you think Roswell is real? You know about Roswell? I believe is that an alien? And does it wear a red jumper. I find you very interesting. I like your work. It's kind of cold in here. I've always liked cold tea. I like cold tea too. Should we go and get some now? What are you doing around here? No, 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 you don't get to smoke that. Right, give me the bag. No, th th this is Give not right. me the bag. Look, that is give me the not... bag or I will fucking shank you right here, right now. Th th there's nothing in this bag that you need. I don't care if I need it or not, I fucking want it. Th th no, no, turn around. Turn the fuck around, okay? Just give me my bag. No. 
Spread your arms. Spread your fucking arms. Clean. Nothing in his pockets. Right, turn back around, look at me. What are you doing here? I'm just, I'm just fine. Every night at 9.30, I like to go up and down this road for my nightly walk to relieve stress. I like the fact that I don't see people here. What are you doing? No, I said I would fucking thank you, didn't I? Wait, what's your bag? Do you want any bag? Yes, please. Do you want any bag? Oi! Yeah? Please. Do you want any bag? Give me your bag. <laughs> It's Connie. I need to go and get you, get help. No, I need to go and get. It's okay. Let me get you some help. It's okay, Janet. I saw. I saw Benny. Two fifteen laps on a bicycle. What? You saw. Them. What? What did you say about Benny? What did you say about Benny? What did you say about Penny? What did you say about Penny? No, don't go. What did you say about Penny? Come back. Come back. I wish this was a dream, starting at the vacant plot where Benny will be buried. My Benny. Always looking back at me through this photograph. You know how it is. I'd better go now. I hope I can be the autumn leaf Who looked at the sky and lived 
And when it was time to leave, gracefully, I knew life was a gift.